Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Sagittarius for November of 2019. Uh, in this video, you are going to get the message from Spirit as well as the energy healing to go along with it. And I do pull some more cards throughout the energy healing, so you want to stay tuned for those messages. All right. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below so you can get uh, message, hit the little bell notification as well to get notified when I have new videos coming out so that you could be informed. Cards are flying, guys. Whoop, what's happening? All right, let's see what we got going here. We're going to do this. All right. Let's see. We're going to leave that one extra. All right. Also, I do have my Heal Your Life course starting on November 10th. So if you're interested in, you know, walking into 2020, a new you, letting go of the past, letting go of the emotions and the trauma that you've been through so you can have a beautiful, beautiful year filled with happiness and love, you can join me in the Heal Your Life course. I will teach you how to do energy healing for yourself so that you can release all of that trauma. Okay, that all the information there is in the description box and the comments below. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to take a little minute to get what is happening with you guys here. All right, so the overall energy here is the eight of swords. So I'm feeling this is a trapped energy. You can see she's there. She's got these strings around her. She's got birds flying around, actually crows flying around. Um, so watch out for the toxicity around you. Um, relationships that you feel that you can't be yourself with because I feel as though you feel trapped. Now, again, remember these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But there's definitely feeling of you can't move. You can't be you is really what I'm getting for you is that you can't be who you truly are because people are either judging you or you think that, um, you know, the relationship or if it's resonating with work, like you might lose your job or lose the relationship, um, any type of relationship it is, but definitely just a stuck energy feeling like you can't see straight, don't know what to do, don't know where to turn that kind of energy throughout the month here with the Eight of Swords. Now, what I'm feeling for that, though, is with everything else, like, be careful with that mindset because I feel as though we need to change that mindset because everything looks beautiful except for this. So when we think of it like this, that's the negative mindset coming in. That's your ego coming in. That's the fight or flight mentality that comes in when you feel like you're in a situation that you need to leave or that is not good for you. But I want you to start to change those thoughts and to really look at yourself as having the ability to do whatever the hell you want to do, right? You're not trapped. You have every ability um, to make a change to make a choice to change the direction of your life or to change the direction of a relationship. Um, and that could be whatever it is for you. It could be changing the dynamic of the relationship. It could be getting out of the relationship, but you are not stuck. You are not stuck. There might be some sacrifices that you have to give up or yes, sacrifices that you have to go through in order to change those dynamics, but you are not stuck. So let's get into this because I want to show you the energy of this reading, which is just beautiful. So you've got the Six of Cups, you've got the King of Swords, you've got the Seven of Pentacles, and you have the Temperance card, all right? So because they're making me feel like this is an inner thing with you, it's an inner mentality, it's the way you're looking at things rather than how it actually is, okay? Now... It actually is that way, but if we can change the way that we perceive it, right? So they're giving me an example here of, you know, giving yourself your light back, creating boundaries here with the King of Swords. I'm going in a whole nother route though here. <laughs> um, 
we, you know, people are, some people are just toxic. People are narcissists, manipulative people in our lives. But if we can look at it as though they can teach you a lesson, right? Teach you how to establish boundaries because now in order to deal with that person, you have to create some boundaries and enforce them where maybe you weren't before. So this is actually a good thing for you. Instead of feeling trapped, you should feel empowered empowered to then make those changes and in making those changes, learning the lesson and growing within, all right? You're giving your, yourself your light back. So it's, it's about getting untrapped. So I really want you to focus on in the month of November is how to feel as though you have total control of everything that's around you and to feel that, you know, everything will be okay and that all you have to do is just sit back with the magician card. It's that that's the manifestation, right? So it's like the more you focus on the negative, the more you look at things in the negative view, the more your life will be negative. So you are what you 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 are your thoughts. You create your reality. So what are the thoughts in your head? So we need to nix those and we need to fill it up with positive balancing thoughts. Now this is a work in progress is with the seven of pentacles. It does take time. It takes time to retrain your brain, but I want you to, I never knew this. I never knew this, but you actually can retrain your brain. I was those one of those people that was just a very negative thinker. And I finally somehow stumbled upon the idea that I can actually learn to be happy because to be happy is just a choice. To not feel stuck is just a choice. You do not have to be stuck. It is a choice that you feel as though you remain stuck, right? You might have to make sacrifices and I already went into all that. But in the middle of November here, you've got the five of cups. You've got the high priestess. You've got the three of cups. You've got the knight of cups. And then you have the magician to end it all up. So... With that five of cups, it's really important. Again, another negative thinking card here is that, you know, this card is all about looking. She's, she's sad here because she has three cups that are spilled, but you still got two that are gleaming, like over abundantly gleaming, waiting for you, but you can't see them because you're too focused on what is going wrong or feeling stuck or what is, um, you know, didn't turn out the way that you thought it was going to. Let that shit go. Let that go and start focusing on what is in front of you because frankly, you can't even see everything that's in front of you. And I'm looking at my crystal tree here and it's like, that's how bright your future is. It is just glowing and gleaming just like these cups, but you've got the choice with the high priestess right next to it. Are you going to continue forward and following your intuition? Because right now, the reason they're telling me here, the reason you feel stuck is because you know you need to make a decision to do something that you don't really want to do, but you know it's for the best. And in doing that, that's where you find that resistance. When you're in complete alignment, you feel like everything is just flowing and everything is going just the way it should be, not as you planned, but just the way that the universe has this plan for you and you're just gliding along with it. When you are in resistance, this is the energy that it feels like. It feels as though you are trapped. It feels as though, you know, anxiety, depression, all of that. And it's because you are sitting in an energy that is not in alignment for you. So this could be sitting in a relationship that doesn't make you feel good. It could be sitting in a job that doesn't make you feel good. It could be... Um, you know, doing things to your body that doesn't make you feel good. So whatever it is, it's that it's you're sitting in that resistance. So you have the choice in this month to switch the flip. I always say switch the flip, flip the switch and start focusing up here rather than down here. All right. So again, it's really about how you choose to think about things. And look at this beautiful energy coming in. She's gorgeous, the high priestess. This is about connecting to your intuition and following it, following what feels good for you. Right next to it, you have the three of cups and you have the knight of cups. Now, and with the magician. So I feel as though you're taking action here with the knight of cups 
the three of cups over here, hang out with the friends that make you feel good. Hang out with your support system that encourages you and supports you and lifts you up. Now, many of us don't even have that in real life, um, in physical, I'll say in physical being, but um, go online. You know, I have my Facebook support community, Turning Pain Into Power. Like there's so many supportive people there. So I'm just putting this out there for those of you that do not have, did I mention these are general readings? So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. (laughs) But um, you can check out your other signs. But for those of you that don't have that support system, do not think that it's not there. There is many people, especially in my group, that are are so freaking supportive. They're amazing, amazing people. Everyone in my group is very supportive. So if you feel as though you need that support, like again, this is changing the perception. If you're sitting there and you're saying, I don't have anyone, I don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend, I don't have friends, I don't have family, well, I'm calling bullshit on it because yes, you might not have all of those things, but at the same time, you can find them. You can find them. And I, like I said, I invite you over there. So, you know, again, watch the thoughts in your mind. Focus on them. That's the first thing we do in my mentorship is we focus on what are the ego? What's the ego putting through to you? Because you've got the choice. You got the choice between the ego or your intuition. Which one of these do you feel as though would leave you happier? Would leave you in better energy and alignment, right? Obviously, it's going to be the high priestess. So watch out for the ego. Now the magician card is here. So again, when you change those thoughts, I feel as though you start to call in things. Again, the higher your vibration, the quicker the law of attraction works. So if you are trying to manifest things in your life, the quickest thing that you can do, the to help it, I guess that makes sense, is to change the thoughts from negative to positive, all right? The end of the month here, you have the Hermit card, you have the Nine of Swords, you have the Six of Pentacles, and you have the Lover's card. So once you flip the switch and you start to really focus on the positivity in your life, the gratitude, um, you go within a little bit. And it's like you finally, you go from the eight of swords energy to the nine of swords. You graduate, right? And you're finally able to like let go of all of this and just sleep finally. Take a deep breath. You're able to breathe. They're telling me because you know nothing can hurt you at this point. So that's a message from them. But you got the nine of swords here. So it's time once you start to go within And then look at the freaking beautiful cards that come after that. You've got the six of pentacles and you have the lover's card. So I am telling you right now, when you start to focus on the positive, focus on the gratitude, focus on what you do have and let all the other shit go, right? Just follow what feels good to you. Go within and heal some, go within and let go, go within and find the support system here, This is the beautiful energy. The six of pentacles to me is about walking your own path because this is how, this is what they're making. This is what I see. Okay. So I'm clairvoyant. So this is what I see. So you're trying to move forward, but there's so many people like just like pulling on your coattail, like saying like, no, we want you back here. We want you back here because misery loves company. Misery loves company. You don't have to be that company. You can find your own company. The company that, you know, and I'm talking company as in friends and, and support, the so people around you, um, you can find that. You've got the lover's card. Now, the lover's card to me, especially in this reading with the high priestess, is going to be connection to yourself. It's going to be that higher self connection, feeling your worth, feeling that energy you, of being created from the universe. And knowing that that energy can never be um, dark, if that makes sense. Like when you're sitting in that energy, there's no right or wrong. There's no failure. There's, there's no bad. It's just positive, beautiful, glowing energy. All right. I feel like I'm like... <laughs>
<laughs> in hippie mode, like everyone positive, love, 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 love. But seriously, it's just focus on the positivity because that those positive thoughts and belief and faith is going to bring you through every single thing. And it's going to create a better life for you and let all the other bullshit go. All right. That's all I have to say. So, um, and you have the power within to manifest everything that you want. All right. You just have to take care of the mindset, really fill it with love, fill it with positivity, good energy. And then that shit will come a lot quicker for you. If you're trying to manifest money, if you're trying to manifest love, if you're trying to manifest success or a house or a job, whatever it is, like the more positive you can be, the quicker it's going to come for you. All right. So let's go ahead into the energy healing here. Um, if you haven't done this with me before, all you're going to do is... Um, Close your eyes and listen to some music and I'm going to connect the divine energy with your energy to release any blockages or trapped emotions. So I usually go in with an intention and I am just being pulled to the high priestess. So we are just going to go in, uh, probably going to work on the crown chakra right here to open up your connection to see and feel that energy from above. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all right, so go ahead and get in a comfortable space. You could sit up or lay down. And go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And go ahead and let that out. All right, here we go. Whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out.
Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And take another deep breath in. Give your body a nice little stretch. And let it out. Okay. So I hope that was good for you. Um, I know the music was a little strange, but when I put my hands on the table, I can feel the vibration. And that is just, it was awesome. I was like, oh, the vibration. So when you vibrate higher, right, get that positivity and you start to vibrate on a def different level, you raise your vibration. I did that challenge in the Facebook group, raising your vibe, right? Raise your vibe, raise that vibration. The quicker you do, the quicker you manifest. Now, the cards that came out for you here were the star card and the world. I'm telling you right now, everything is in front of you, everything. So let me know below, are you feeling the calling? Are you feeling that there's um, the spiritual awakening? Are you feeling as though you're being called from the universe or spirit in some way? Because with the star and the high priestess in the same reading, that is telling me that you're being called here. So listen to that intuition, really try to tap into it. Um, in the Divine Empress Club, I do have the Trust Your Intuition Challenge. So if you want to uh, look that up, I think it's also to purchase on my website. So if you're interested in the Trust Your Intuition Challenge, it was a three-day challenge that really um, got you tuned into your intuition. All right, you can check that out. So I hope that resonated with you. Give me a thumbs up um, on the video if you liked it. Also, make sure you subscribe. And if you are interested in working with me in the Heal Your Life course to really heal your, heal your life through energy healing, learning the power of energy healing, um, getting certified. Also, there's a certification there. You could check that out in the description box or the comments. Much love. I can't wait to see what this does and your journey here into 2020. All right. Much love to you. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.